And what I need to do is when it creates enemy, go to definition and go to the header file. So I need number include. That's probably look better if it's on top. Number include. Vector enemy and vector. Am I need a math core in here? IGSR vector to waypoints. For now, all of them will have waypoints. So we'll have to update that later. But anyway, going back to this vector IGSR to waypoints. Now made a sprite. I need to include enemy here. Number include enemy h. Then the waypoints. Yay. Okay, so now that I have that, I need to pass the waypoints in here. Okay, enemies, waypoints. Well, let's hope that this works. Let's put a oh, that's all the stuff going on here. What the hell? Must I did not return the value for that, did I? Great. Do we have to call this? Hold on. This virtual what a definition. Okay. Hope not. Looks like we don't have to do that. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go to the next waypoint. It has 10. It looks like it does have it, so. Oh, you know what? I forgot it's gonna crash. I forgot to create new on this. Oopsies. It should crash on me now. Or maybe not. Yes, abort. I never call new on that, actually. How do you call a new vector on this? Do we have? It's been so long. You just don't say vector. Uh, hold on, give me a second. Alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, it's been so long. I know you know. You don't call new on that. <laughs> okay, so why did he crash? I do initialize it. Pass it in. Do I initialize an enemy? Ah, okay. We're smart. I'm smart. I'm very smart.
No, I still crash. Why? Vector out of range. Why would it be out of range? Cost at grab waypoints. It says zero. Okay. Maybe because it doesn't really. It says size zero here though. Why? Why is it size zero? Does it never initialize it correctly? And waypoints, waypoints. Maybe, I mean, you should. Maybe because it's not a pointer. Maybe because it's not a pointer. He doesn't know about it yet till after. Yeah, that was what he's in. Name. Yes, I just now I just don't know if they're actually moving or not. Well, let's find out. I do call idle. Okay. Stepping over position, transform, get that. The current waypoint. Fifteen, get distance. Distance four hundred. Why is this four? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Maybe the waypoint they're going to is you. And I realize they're going to the same waypoint, all of them. Okay. This right now it doesn't really matter to me. And it looks like I did not do it. I did not divide it by it. Okay, that's one issue. Velocity by that. Wow, that's huge. Okay. At the velocity. We'll add it. Here, velocity, which sets it in my transform. As long as I'm calling out the yes, I am calling out the. Mm -mm -mm. Velocity. And this velocity. Just updating here. There we go. Velocity, 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 velocity. Plus equal velocity. That's all the time. Position gets set translation. Yeah, that is my position. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's look at this again. Looks like it's not dividing it correctly. So I'm about to do one by one, or do I have? No, I do not have it. Of course I don't. To target that get X divided by distance. I need to update my engine. I'll do that off screen. That get Y divided by distance. Okay, I hope that this works. I didn't check to see. It looked like it did. We'll find out. I don't think that would be the issue, though. That should not be the issue. Yeah, that should be there already. Oh, maybe. Yes, I never set the position back. I just want to see... Okay, that looks a lot better now. 144. About 20. I mean, I already normalized it, but it looks fine. I just never set the position at. Well, it doesn't really matter, though. Um, that should not be the issue right now. Because my transform sets the position. What if... Just to make sure, I just want to make sure they actually move. Oh. As long as I make sure they actually move. 
Yeah, there's something going on. Have the next waypoint. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this. So I gotta figure. Out. I don't want to waste too much video on you guys. Just trying to find. Okay, I think I may have found a reason. I may have found a reason why. And that's because I just threw it in here. I don't recall like a max velocity in here. Probably just too much. Yeah, I'm clamping it when I say at position, but since it's zero, it clamps it at zero. Let's see. Pass it there. X. Yeah, I was clamping it here and max velocity was zero, so we clamped it at zero. So that should work. Okay. They're moving really slow or they're not moving at all. I think it's not all this. So, hmm. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah. Let's add it actually. I just want to have a big number and make sure they actually move because if they do move then that's the reason but the nano them are moving why am I why should she not take me too long what the heck am I that's when I, I mean I can cheat it now and figure it out later I think I'll do that now I'll just cheat it for now and then do it off screen so you guys can at least see what the hell is going on right now Position dot set X position I get Y not Y what am I doing X plus velocity I get X times timer get delta time position I do need an add function for this, so it'll be so much easier. I'll be updating my engine later to do that. Times time. Uh, and then I transform a set position. In my case, this should somewhat work. No. There's no Z, so... Ah. There we go. I don't three seconds and then move to the next one. They're all going to the same place anyway. Anyway, 500 is too much. Make it 100. So for now, I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> I know they're all going to the same one. I probably should randomize it instead. Hold on. So, it's like they're all going to the same place. Can I create a. Do I have a random number in here? We'll find out. Uh, utility. Can I get utility in here? No, I can't. Number include H utility random random int from zero to waypoints dot length or okay, kick size. And this one. So they all have random index going on in here. There you go. Even though someone ended up going to the same place.
These two are getting the same numbers. <laughs> Let me see, do they ever change numbers? Index? No, look at that. They're favoring, I guess they like each other. <laughs> yeah, they like each other. They're inseparable, guys. They're inseparable because they're all going to the same place. I don't know, maybe the lovers. <laughs> Okay, but anyways, that's, that's what I wanted to do, guys. I know it took me forever to do. It's my first day back anyway, so. Or after a while, actually. So, I'll be looking at my engine a little bit more to re remember what I, to remember all these, so I don't have to get all these bugs going on right now. So, anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to do this. I just wanted to create waypoints and have enemies moving around here. So, I hope you guys like this episode and the next one. What am I doing the next? I guess kind of, I kind of have them chase the player. Once they get to a, for a simple version, once they get close to a certain range, then chase them. I know that right now they're going to collision, which I don't really care, because later on, what I'm going to do is, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. I think after the chasing the player, I'm going to implement a star in here. I know this type of game that I'm doing doesn't really need it. I can cheat it and do it some other way, but I know there's people that really want me to. See, they want to really want to see how A stars should be implemented. I mean, I already implement it. Um, but they just wanted me to use it. I know that I've been getting messages saying, "Hey, how do you use your A star?" and blah blah blah. So I'm gonna be using it here. So hope you guys get. You guys stay, just stay tuned for that. Right, next, doing the chasing the player once they go, they get close to a certain distance and then after I'm gonna do the A star. So for the A star what I want to do is basically uh, I'm just gonna grab it from my the one I the one that I made from the video. I kind of updated it a little bit but it's working the same way. So I either what I'm gonna do is just grab the file and, and add it to my project. But if you guys want me to re Want me to go through it again, through the code and all that, and start from scratch again? Let me know, and I'll do a separate video on that. Cause I know when I did that video it was kind of a little lame, cause I did not know much. <laughs> so if you want me to redo the A star, let me know. I'll redo it again. But anyway, but for now I'm just gonna add it to this project and just use that. So, so the next video will be chasing, and I hope you guys like this video. I know it kind of sucked a little bit, but. Just cut me some slack. It's the first time after a while, you know, I haven't even looked at this engine since for since the last time I made a video on this making a game. So hope you guys like it. You know, tell other people about it, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully my computer doesn't die on me again. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. So signing out, guys. Signing out.